Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome to day 155 on the free brewer account. Guys, picked up that XP boost and we're going to be going over my game plan for the fusion that's going to be starting on this Monday. Uh, I want you guys to be prepared. I'll be preparing for it. I won't be so active in the following two days, Sunday and Monday, when the fusion actually starts. I won't probably won't even post videos on my free to play account because I won't be uh, able to play during those two, day two days. But uh, even so, I'll keep you guys up to date on my progress right when I'm able to. So, before we get on with how I'm going to be going into this fusion, this next fusion that we're going to have. Uh, so far on the free brew account, we only missed one fusion and that was intentional. It was Astralon because I was so early into my account and just felt that that fusion was extremely difficult at that point for me in collecting resources and everything alongside with it. So, before we get on to that... I did pick up another one sacred chart from the monthly quest. As you see, it, all my quests have been reset. I basically done only one daily. So another 30 days for my next sacred chart and guaranteed void. But I've got one sacred chart that I'm going to be pulling. I don't care what you guys say. I will pull it. My dream here um, in in comparison to my uh, main account, my main account won't Kaimar. On this account, I don't want Kaimar. Like, Kaimar would do nothing to this account. But Lissandra, Lissandra is going to be a game changer. Um, the same thing with Deacon, honestly. Deacon is a fantastic champion for an account like mine. He provides a speed boost that I so desperately need uh, to get my champions going. And also applies a defense down on his A2. His A1 applies a leech. So, fantastic skills in combination, uh, those two. So... I don't know if you guys can hear my cat, but she's going crazy the past few days. I think she's in heat. I think that's what they call it. <laughs> okay, so let's pull that one sacred shard. Hope for a legendary. So let me pick up those rewards if they are worth picking up right now. So not really worth picking up right now. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'll leave that, that energy right there. So this is, I think, tip number one in terms of preparing for a fusion. If you got any event rewards, just leave them there, leave them be, because those event rewards will actually uh, go right into your inbox when this event ends. So in two days, 12 hours, this event will end. Anything that's here uh, will stay here for another 24 hours. So that's basically three days and 12 hours of this energy being available here. And right after that ends, this will go straight to your mailbox for another six days. So six days more that you can pick it up. It's basically going to be similar to some of these rewards like the CVC, which go to your inbox for six days. So the same thing happens with event rewards. Be very careful with those. Next up is the Fusion warm-up event. So this one's you need to be doing these uh, every single day. Actually, I need to uh, level up some of my gear. I've got four days to do this. And basically, I think you should not miss any of the days. So I kind of have to do this. The, the reward in the end is an epic skill tome. So what do I have to do is uh, upgrade artifacts. And how do I get points? Wait, is it just one artifact that I get 15 points? Just a five star to, to level 12? Very easy. Let me just do that immediately while I talk to you guys. So uh, be very careful with the events. Be, be exactly not like me now. Doing it at the, the final few uh, minutes of the day. Like we've got one hour until the next reset. So I'm going to do this ring. Um, maybe I shouldn't be doing the rings because rings are notoriously more expensive to, to upgrade to 16. To, um, oh, wow. It didn't even start well. So I might stop it at eight. Um, upgrading an item is always more expensive if you're doing rings, amulets, or banners compared to the normal gearing. So accessories are more expensive. So be sure to leave those some of those rewards in there for... Uh, when the event starts because you'll be needing all that energy you'll need to be prepared in as many ways as possible and one of those ways is of course having um, the uh, event or tournament rewards just saved there they go to the mailbox and that's going to be your best way in preparing for an event if you're free to play there's no other way to prepare in terms of resources than just saving your gems not really saving the energy because you kind of need to be using it all day long and that's what I am doing. But try and get as many of the resources that can be stored as possible. So it's quests, it's advanced quests, it's rewards from either Factory Wars or Doom Tower. It's uh, rewards for maybe the clan boss. If you can just, um, not clan boss, um, the, the clan chest. You can actually delay uh, picking up the, the, the clan chest 
and that if you're lucky it's going to give you some energy but that's totally rng so i can't really give that as a tip it's just like if it happens it happens other stuff that can be useful in terms of um, getting upgrades is checking those challenges, seeing if you still have some challenges to finish. If you still have some challenges to finish, there's probably some of them that give you a ton of energy. So I think this one for me gives me like 75 energy. I'll see if I do have a five or six star retaliation set gear available to give to somebody. I still think I don't have one, but if I do, I'll, I'll be picking up two books as well. And then the final one for challenges from this account is gonna be um upgrade three great hole bonuses to level five which is it's not gonna be easy uh but i'll definitely do it so in terms of tournaments there's nothing in terms of uh preparing for the next fusion there's this classic arena takedown i think i picked up the energy here uh, i can actually not pick up this energy and let that be and this will also go to the uh to the mailbox but i haven't been doing as much um arena as i would like Spider Tournament, just don't do it, guys. It's not worth the effort if you're free to play. Um, Spider gives you awesome rewards in general in terms of amulets and rings and banners. But um, these are always there for the more end game players who don't really care about energy. Um, your quests are very, very important. You need to be finishing those every single day. You know that you pick up a lot of energy. So this is 400 energy that I can use when the fusion starts. Um, I don't have any weekly energy. No, I actually do have. Wow. I thought I used it. So I could definitely use this during the fusion. And then the monthly ones, um, I'll definitely use these as well. So upgrade two items, I'll definitely do these. And then upgrade a champion to level five, to rank five. So um, these are the tips in terms of the first screen. The next tip in preparing for the fusion. So in yesterday's video, I was saying, okay, guys, I'll be leveling up my uh, Fellhounds Masteries with that, what, 1500 energy I had actually didn't do that and you'll see of the amount of food that i have uh, prepared look at all these three stars and then uh, these were all two stars and i upgrade them to three stars because i need to have them ready for when the event starts um if we're lucky we're gonna have two champion training one event and one tournament both of them might be required to be completed as a free-to-play to pick up that fusion. And the way that you do that is you need to be prepared going into the first one. So look at all these level 30s that I have. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, um, 15 level 30s ready to go, ready to become food. So that's 15 four stars. Uh, you actually need how many four stars do I need? 25 or is it 20 or is it 30 so i need four four stars and then a four star at level 40 to make it five star that's a lot of yeah um anyway you need a lot of four stars uh, to get your level 60 i just can't remember the number out of my head now yeah i'm a, I'm a player who plays this game for two years it just shows uh, <laughs> so uh be sure to just Keep on leveling if you've got the XP boost going like I do have for another 22 hours because of the daily reward and also I think the uh, just a weekly quest that I did. So those stacked. So the daily login stacked with the, the weekly. So I had two days basically um, going. So I'll be using this 500 energy just to get some extra work into uh, those champions, get some more um, champions level to 30 and I'll have food available for both my Arbiter and uh i don't know who else maybe my, my screen monster get those two to level 60 and um rank 60 level 60 fully ascended just get them get their power going I'm, I'm at 10 million silver this is the next part um silver is going to be the most difficult one to basically prepare for if you've been using it a lot and and careless carelessly spending it then it's going to be very difficult for you to complete the artifact enhancement events so those need Best case scenario, 10 to 15 million. Worst case, 25 million to complete. Best way to get points is upgrading, as I said, uh, this gear instead of amulets and banners. If you have some gear that's still level 15, that's good. It means that you've basically spent most of the cost already. So you're prepared to spend hopefully the minimum possible to, to get this to 16 and get the maximum amount of points. It doesn't save you any money. But if you've got many items that you have to add 15 and it's just one level that you need, that's about 300 points per upgrade to 16. So it, it definitely stacks up and, and it um, and it will help you get those, those points that you need for the fusion. So 
if this fusion is as older fusions were, we might have some of the epics available through the ultimate rewards. And the ultimate rewards often are um, either connected with champion training events or summoning events. So if you're a spending player, uh, you won't really have to worry about all these. If you're not a spending player, um, then if you can push for one of the epics and it's possible to give you a huge benefit over not collecting all the other rares again, then that's great. But I did go over many of the epics and actually two of the epics are quite good. So if those two epics are offered instead, uh, with, I think one of them is a Skinwalker and the other one, I don't think they're available just yet, right? In the index, I, th I don't think they're available just yet. Yeah, they're not. Uh, so I think one of them is a Skinwalker and then the other one is a an Ocarina Tribes, I think. The two, the two ones that I remember that are good, I covered them in a video, but definitely two out of the four epics, the new epics that are released are, are okay, uh, better than usual, and definitely worth uh, the consideration. So that's it in terms of preparing for this uh, this fusion that's coming, guys. I will be probably doing also the Doom Tower. It resets in 12 hours. Some of the rewards you can actually pick up later on and just save them for fusions. What I would have done it's uh, let's say not finish a, a stage that gives you energy but if it's normal doom tower the energy that it gives you it's it's like 50 or 70 energy so it's it may be not worth the effort maybe just push as as far as you can and then um by doing so in the following days of the fusion you'll be able to pick up the further energy um on on stages which are available which might be way higher and way more impactful so um well, Doom Tower is another way to get resources, so uh, don't neglect that when a fusion is going. Always, I'll always push your Doom Tower. I know it's it's a lot of time within the game spent, and I, I feel it. I mean, I I personally have two accounts, and I struggle keeping up with both. I I keep forgetting to do you know faction wars on the one of them, arena, clan boss uh, all the time. I forget, but um uh yeah, since I'm not doing this full time. I, I, I'm, I'm bound to forget something and mess something up. So this was the video, guys. I hope I helped you guys in, in terms of preparing for the fusion. I am prepared in a sense. I've got gems, so I'm not too worried. I've got, I've got um, Sacred Shards, which is kind of the most important thing uh, for Friday. Next Friday, we're going to have a 2x. So excited about that. So excited to get a possibly another No Rock or a triple, my, my, my third iron brago so that's gonna be cool i have three legendaries that are still not fully ascended one of them is a dupe one of them is is um who's this guy forget his name even have war mother i'm still convinced my best legendary on this account is iron brago still convinced you cannot change my mind about it i've got i've got how many so far and and still i think iron brago the best one best one so this was the video guys thanks a lot for watching subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.